Today we're down the Nuke Yard wearing the brand new Apex Air by Thomas Apiculture in France. Hello, I'm Griffey, so good to Griffey. Here hey, we dog everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now I'm in my brand new Thomas Apex Air jacket. We are now stocking this suit at Gwynny Griffey's, shipping all over the UK. We've got the jacket and the full suit, as well as some of their gloves, leather and rubber gloves. They're excellent quality, it's by Thomas. And I'm super pleased uh, with the quality and even better, the price of these suits. I think the full suit we're selling out at 75 pound. 75 pound for a vented full beekeeping suit is unbelievable value. But we are down here working. It's not just a review video of this suit. We've got nukes in the back, double broods, we've got the smoker, we've got the tools. Now the nuke yard is filling up quite nicely, but it keeps getting emptied all the time. Which I suppose is good, sales of nukes are still coming in. And uh, everything along the right side here is pretty much sold, I've got to go through them today. Make sure they're good enough to sell, get them into brand new boxes and away they go. Down the left there. There's some brand new queens from a, not a new breeder, but new breeder for me. A guy called Alex Ellis, and uh, he's been buying the Danish Buckfast bees in, and he's breeding them in Wales, in the UK. So we've got some queens from him, we've uh, pre-ordered queens from him. So we had a batch of 10 uh, delivered a few days ago. We're just going to be snapping the plastic off the cages today, make sure there's no extra queen cells in there. Hopefully they come through okay, and I tell you, if those British bred Danish line queens are as good as I think they're going to be, because the Danish Buckfast have, have built a massive reputation amongst being one of the best Buckfast bees out there, I think, in the world. Um, so if we can get that kind of lines going uh, within the nukes, within our operation, and uh, we're hoping to sell some of those nukes next year. So we're gonna see how they perform this year. We've got a few on, uh, few on pre-order for this year. And uh, if they perform really, really well, we're gonna be making a lot more nukes out of them. And we're gonna sell nukes, Danish Buckfast nukes from uh, bred in Great Britain, in Wales, uh, but take advantage of the Danish line. So hopefully they'll be pretty good. But that's what we're doing today. We've got syrup, we've got the, the Fonda Bee there and the, the Laphead syrups. Trying the two of them out. The smoker is there. With our famous coffee sacks that we sell as well. They're excellent value, brilliant smoker fuel. That little strip of a bag will last me you know, for an easy over an hour. Uh, no problem at all. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'll take you with me, I'll show you some of these new queens that we've ordered from Alex. Hopefully they're doing well in the cages and uh, there's no more queen cells in the nukes. And uh, they can be released themselves over the next few days, go through the fondant. But yeah, that's what we're doing. I got the kids with me because it is half term, they're not in school. So I did promise a picnic for them. Good luck, boys. <laughs> Help you go in the Yeah. Yeah, but daddy Benny may not have been in the in the Which is type about YouTube? So we gotta entertain them. So they gotta come with me on the bees. There's only so much they can do in the shop. And uh, I'm hard, I'd look after them at the farm. So that's the plan today. And more importantly, how is this suit going to cope? Well, I can tell you a bit of a spoiler. They are really, really well. They're really well built. Uh, no one's been stung in them yet. We put, we had a full day's training on the weekend and we put a lot of people in these Apex Air suits. Everybody loved it. No one got stung. So I think they're going to do really well and you cannot argue with the price of them. Right, that's what I'm doing for the next hour or so. Let's get into it. Ha <laughs> 
All right, let's start with this one. Hopefully things are pretty good. Nice and open, nice and calm. That is a good sign. So check every frame. That's our wireless brood wax. Again, made in Thomas in France. The bees draw this wax so quick. And I'm not seeing any loss of strength or anything that it's not wired. So we're gonna keep trying them for a bit. But so far, they, that is excellent foundation. Really, really pleased with the stuff we've been having from France. Now we have gone through these bees, did the old usual trick of doing the nuke a week before so we can make this hive totally hopelessly queenless. That is looking good. I think the bees have accepted this queen. Not balling that down, filled the mesh up with propolis or wax. Very, very calm and I can see the queen. I don't know how good you can see in there. But that Danish queen that's bred in Britain, in Wales specifically, can't beat that. Hopefully these turn out amazing. And if they do turn out amazing, we're gonna be buying a lot more of them. So I think the way things are going, we really need some good breed, queen breeders in the UK. Open that up. Nice and wide like that. So over the next couple of days, they're gonna release that queen and she is gonna head this hive up. No queen cells at all. Yeah, love it when they, the bees act like this. Because I tell you, queen acceptance hasn't been amazing on every batch of queens we've had this year. And I don't know whether that's down to me. I think some of it was down to me because I, I made the nukes too quick and didn't let them go hopelessly queenless. So it could, it could be me. On one batch, the sugar, I think the sugar was the wrong sugar in the queens and came back a week later, they were all still in there. They, could, they didn't chew through the sugar. Never seen that happen before. A lot of the queens uh, didn't make it through that. But um, yeah, this livestock business, it's never straightforward. But on this case, it's looking like it is straightforward and it's going to be okay. So, really pleased with that. Our queen is back in there, we will slip that frame down there. Now close this up. Now, what's the next important job to do on that nuke? Especially when we're doing queen introduction, and I'll give you five seconds to answer what am I gonna do next to that nuke to increase my chances of that queen being accepted? Three, two, one, that's feed that nuke. Give them syrup. When you make nukes, you can't feed them enough, really. When you're feeding them, you're giving them something to do, stimulating the flow at all helps increase your chances of them accepting that queen. All right, so that's all the plastic cut off on the British Buckfast lines. And if you're wondering, I've got different lines of Buckfast bees on this site now. How do I know what's in what? And that is a good question I'm gonna show you. I've got stones or bricks. 
on all the nukes. And I just write on the top. So this is going to be Alex. And I know that queen is from Alex. So if anybody buys a, a nuke from his line of bees, then everything says Alex. If they're from BS Honey Bees, all those ones there, they're BS Honey Bees. We'll go through them now. I tell you, they sell some really nice Buckfast bees. They've got a, a really good breeder in Italy, and uh, I know who they are because I've, I've seen the logo in, on the cage, and I follow them on Instagram, and I think they're probably one of the top guys in Europe, and their line of queen, or Buckfast bee, is amazing. Really, really, really pleased with that. So, two different breeders on this site there, and um, obviously the BS honey bees, I've been using them for years, and uh, the Alex bees, or the Alex line, bred in Britain from Denmark or Danish lines first time using them so we'll see how everything goes in the meantime I'm gonna write Alex on all these hives on these stones on these on the nukes then we'll go through some of the BS honey bees nukes and see if those queens are now accepted in those hives because I cut the plastic off them last week let's go These are nice and calm. That's the first good sign. Yeah, two minutes. Kids want them to go home, but they've got to wait. I don't know if you can see the B logo there. But that's the queens I really like. So if you want the same Buckfast bees, message BS and the bees and tell them I want the queens that Griff were talking about. And there she is. Accepted. We're just gonna leave this new well alone. Once you see that queen walking on the frame and it's only been a week or two don't do the inspection just give them another week there's nothing again by disturbing that hive more you can upset the hive and then the bees try and kill the queen once she's already been accepted so let the lay plenty of eggs let the plenty of brood come through and then get into it so that's all I'm gonna do now on the nukes that I'm going through which are good accepted I'm gonna double brood them up give them some up and I'm not going to touch them for two weeks. There's nothing again. Let that nuke be. They're not going to swarm on a newly accepted queen. Give them plenty of space and let them crack on. It'd be a lot less risky going through that nuke later on when there's plenty of brood in there. Well, that's it for this video. Really comfortable beekeeping in the Apex air suit. Didn't get stung at all. But the breeze is coming through. I've got excellent visibility and it's a really light, comfortable suit to wear. So, that's it for this video. This suit gets a thumbs up from me, and you've seen my nuke yard starting to fill up, even though it's gonna get a, a bit more empty later on. But that's what we're doing. Making lots of nukes, introducing lots of queens, and uh, that's gonna be probably one of the main jobs to do this beekeeping season, this, um, Nukes has really taken on uh, really, really well. 
Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.